everybody, thank you for joining me, and I hope you're having a good day. We are playing Ultimate Admir uh, General American Revolution, and we are found ourselves in a bit of a tight spot at the end of the last episode. We had the British launch an invasion fleet down to Fort Lovell, where we uh, had to give up some ground. We ended up losing Hubbardton twice, because we took it back and then we lost it again. Uh, Fort Stevens we lost. We had just abandoned. We, it wasn't a battle. We just abandoned it. Uh, but there is a significant British force now sitting at Fort Lovell. I think well over uh, at least close to 10,000 men. I don't know. We did uh, defeat some of those units at Hoverton. So I'm not really sure how big of a force they have at the moment. But we are about to launch our assault and hopefully destroy them. We have almost 10,000 men ourselves between Fort Rice, Leicester, and Portsmouth. And now we're not going to be bringing all those forces in, but hopefully we can draw the British, a large British force down to Fort Stevens, in which case we can hopefully destroy that and then march on Fort Lovell. At least that's the idea. While also these troops in Fort Rice will march up towards Hubbardton to try and draw some forces away from Fort Lovell as well. We were at, we are actually going to probably get them moving first. Uh, that way they take some of the forces over here and then start m marching on Fort Stevens. So that's the plan of attack. We are going to probably give it about a day before we start maneuvering troops into positions for this to happen. We do have to be cautious because the British do have, I would assume, about 3,000 men. Okay, we got a nice donation there. Uh, about 3,000 men up in Falmouth, if I'm not mistaken. We also completed something over here. Oh, we we finally finished our hunter rifles. Uh, but... Well, I, shoot. I need to do Pennsylvania rifles to get carbines, don't I? Because I want to get carbines for my Dragoons, that way they have the sabers. Because you need that. Because right now they're just using the short brown besses, which makes them more shooting cavalry, from what I understand. So if you want more shot cavalry, you need them to be equipped with carbines. But I really wanted to do the 70, 1776 musket, the Virginia, because that one's almost as good as the brown best musket. Shoot. I think going, I mean, we have some, the U.S. musket's not bad. Let, let's go with the Pennsylvania rifle just so we can lock the Dragoon carbines. Because that's what I really want. Um, but let, let's also head towards our manufacturing. We'll take a factory away so we can actually start producing the Hunter rifles in mass. Okay, 14 a day, that's not too bad. That's Every, like, what, seven days, about every week, we can equip one of our skirmisher units with hunter rifles, so that's not bad at all. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead, let's get these guys formed up first down here in Leicester. We'll just leave them outside of Leicester right now while we form them up into brigades. Alright, form them up into a brigade, guys. Oh, shoot. Finances. Um... Don't want to sell any guns right now. We can go ahead and sell some furs. We'll sell. We don't want to sell too much ammunition because we're probably going to expend a lot of it here very shortly. We'll sell some wagons here. We'll sell half the textiles. Let's sell some of this goods. We'll sell some of the coal and the wood. Oh, 78. We'll come down to 100 wood. All right, that's good. That gives us 7,000. That should be enough for a couple days worth of salaries. Of course, now I gotta. Well, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and. Uh, now we have to wait a day for the money to resolve itself. That's annoying. Alright, 
Alright, let's start getting these troops out of fort level. So like I said, I really want to move these guys first. Come on. Alright, let's start also getting some of these troops out of Portsmouth. I did create another... Uh, why is it still saying not enough money? That's weird. I did create another militia unit to help hold Portsmouth while we move out. Turn them up into a brigade. Another brigade. Thank you. These two into a big, smaller brigade, but a stew brigade. Like I said, just trying to draw some of these guys. From Fort Lovell to head towards Hubbardton. Alright, uh, that helps us out quite a bit. A lot of states are starting to declare independence as we get closer to uh, the signing of the Declaration of Independence. British are starting to see our troop movements. Alright, so we got a battle at Hubberton just in time. They got some British reinforcements in, but that's fine by me, to be honest. That's less troops coming down south from Fort Lovell. We should be able to pretty much handily destroy this first before the other ones reach the field. I don't think I've ever fought a battle on a map like this before, or did I when I played Hubberton before? I don't know. I probably did. Alright, so let's see. We got the British already right in our front. We'll move our skirmishers up to slow them down. Let's move this cannon on this side forward. Let's get this cannon forward as well. Move him about there. We'll get this cannon up here. It should be hard for them to flank around the side of this cannon. But we will send some troops just to hold into this farmhouse area. We even might send these militia units. Oh, don't send them into the farmhouse. Up into these woods. Alright, and then we'll... These guys hold down this flank, and we'll take a look at troop other troop movements as we get a little closer to the battle itself. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. I was not expecting them to just break that easily, to be honest. Hopefully we can at least get this cannon. Yeah, 
there we go. We shattered the cannon at least. No casualties. They took 80 and lost all four of their cannon. Kind of disappointing that we weren't able to fight a big battle and fight a lot of their troops, but I'm assuming maybe if we don't take Hubberton, then these guys are going to keep coming down. We'll take, keep an eye on that. But now all these guys are getting formed up. They need to be reformed. probably fight another battle here hopefully they don't run if not we can just at least chase down their artillery keep just taking out their artillery we're starting a lot closer this time of course my skirmishers are in the rear let's just move up our artillery all to the middle here actually let's have him go here and go here. Of course, my cavalry looks like it's all the way back here. They were just barely in the battle. Hopefully, the British actually stand and fight this time. They are getting reinforcements, but not by a whole lot. And there we go. But at the very least, we can probably chase down that artillery. If we can just keep destroying British artillery, that would be fine by me. Did I not put these guys? I thought I charged these guys. And should probably hold fire with these guys. Looks like we're gonna get them. Uh, a lot of friendly fire. I wish they'd stop firing. There we go. Artillery battery was shattered. Thankfully, we only lost 16 men and with that friendly fire incident. Uh, but they lost another artillery battery. This dude is pulling more and more troops in over here, so I'll take it. What's going on here? Why can't I fight this battle? Uh, 
Let's actually fight this battle before the rest of them come in. If we can keep destroying them piecemeal here, I'll be happy with that. God, we just keep starting closer and closer. I selected them, but I didn't get Arnold and my cavalry up. Let's flank around with our skirmishers. Start moving forward with these guys. It's like the British are finally standing and fighting. Looks like they got some grenadiers over here. A little light infantry. It's hard to tell. Clear them out. I hate that militia only will get in a quick charge and then retreat. Let's do with the cavalry. We'll put our skirmishers in on their flank. They're not running. So that means they do have those reinforce oh there they go. to try and find their guns. So did we shatter their guns? I know they had a 25 pounder here. I, I guess we shattered their guns. Alright, we're not going to worry about pursuing the infantry as much as I like to. We're waited too long. It's not too bad. Defeated another 242 of their men. What I really need to figure out though is why we can't seem to fight here even though we are right here there we go thank you it's mostly British cavalry though over here but this could work to our advantage because it's their infantry is not much. So we could probably just shell the cavalry to death. Now we're pretty spread out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bunch up my... artillery as much as I can. I'm gonna try and draw them in with my infantry, my light infantry, because they're not gonna take too much shell hits. I mean they might even just rout, probably is what's gonna end up happening. Let's be honest here.
actually coming in for a cavalry charge. Where's my cavalry? Thought I had mine here. Let's get him firing. I'm not going to go charging in. I figured they were going to rout. It's unfortunate that they did. I would have loved for them to take a whole lot of shell. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, there's my cavalry. Maybe get a few kills in right there. No, not really. Okay, we'll go back to the global map. Only killed four troops. That's sad. Oh, well. Well, we actually got... Oh, my God. Did we get all their... I think we got all their cavalry to surrender. I'm pretty sure that's what I just saw. Uh, this might be an interesting battle. Because although they're very uh, depleted, I think their amount of troops pretty much matches mine. This will be interesting. So one of the big issues we probably... Where are we? We're probably going to start having here is ammunition. Because we have been... Uh, actually, we're not too bad with ammunition. Alright. Let's get these guys forward. We'll have these guys set up on this side of the woods, I think. Let's combine these two units. Everybody else looks... Relatively in good shape. Let's combine them, actually. Yeah, that'll be okay. Oh, look at that. We actually had a few, a few shatters right off the bat. Let's make sure we get our general up. Move our cavalry forward a bit. Let's actually have these skirmishers run across here. You know what? Let's just have these two form up into one larger regiment as well. Have these guys form up. Have our militia hold our right flank. Or left flank, sorry. I thought I selected all my militia. Make sure we get everybody over here. We'll 
keep this guy in reserve, I think. My right flank isn't as heavily defended, but we also have our Dragoons over here, and we'll probably retreat our skirmishers to this area once we hold off for a little while. The British should be getting in lots of reinforcements, though. Maybe get one more volley off and have them fall back. Shatter. So far, everything is going to plan. I guess I will have to skirmish just sort of hold this position over here, the far, the far right. Looks like they're heading towards my cavalry. I told you to fire at that. Alright, get them out of there. Sort of shattered that British right flank, or left flank. Uh, we didn't shatter them enough though. They were able to get a volley in on us. That was unfortunate. No, they still had troops trickling in, so I'm not too don't want to too quickly pull all these guys off, but I think what I will do is pull my reinforcements that are back here up to relieve the inf the uh, skirmishers. Even though they're doing a good job. Okay, they got some cannon coming up finally. Broke that skirmisher unit. Do have some more British infantry coming in. Oh, that's those are actually those grenadiers we kicked out. We already had them on home. They just out of range. That's annoying. Let's march forward just a slight bit. I guess you guys march forward just a slight bit too. You guys move forward to engage.
Alright, we routed those grenadiers completely. Alright, looks like the bulk of the British Army is starting to come in. Grenadier unit. Our left is holding fine. We got that. I'm almost tempted to charge my militia out of that cannon. Almost. Not quite. I don't think I'm in the spot just yet. We do have a lot of light infantry movement on our right. Curve our line back in along this road. Let them get a volley off. Let's fall back our cavalry some. Cause they do actually have a lot of forces out here. All this out of here. I have no idea. <coughs> well, it looks like we're finally getting some movement on our left. them. We got nobody on our left so I think we can afford to do this. Ah, it would have been nice to get a shatter there. light infantry. Here are starting to have low ammo reserves. They still have a lot of artillery back here. That's what's concerning, I think. Grenadiers coming in. The light infantry is really starting to get around us. But they're hesitant to come in because of my cavalry, I'm assuming. So where Saber Cavalry would be really nice. They're really starting to put pressure on this flank. Still have more cannon up this way. Let's 
Surprisingly, the balance of power is still showing pretty even. Probably because the British have so many cannons. No, 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 no. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh wow, they actually have a lot of men up on our flanks over here. Actually, that's probably a bad idea to split them up. What we should do is just bring in this artillery. Let the militia hold them off as long as they can. Oh wow, more forces. Let's actually get Arnold over here to hopefully bolster their morale. Like I said, we just need them to hold as long as they possibly can so we can defeat this right flank. starting to waver over here all that cannon fire Keep after them. Maybe we can route them completely from the map. Fortunately, we're completely out of ammo with all my artillery guns. Cavalry is doing. I just want them to route them completely from the map and be nice. So much British artillery. I don't know how that unit is still holding up. How they haven't even just fled the battle yet.
I think that was, yeah, that was the gren grenadier unit finally shattered. artillery battery back Unlimited guns? Yeah, release crew, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Gonna form up those two regiments. Let's actually pull everybody back. Bring them in closer to the guns. I really wish he wouldn't run so far away. Probably under heavy hot artillery fire. Alright, we're going to consolidate our line some. Form all the militia up into one large regiment. All right, got another shatter. Do have one large British grenadier unit? Yeah, those look like grenadiers. Oh no, our skirmisher is completely shattered. The problem is, we're probably going to win this battle, but they still have so many artillery pieces. Like the land combat, like I'm not too worried about losing all this. 
Like, we're, we're not going to lose the, uh, this combat. I, I really doubt it. Right now, we're pretty much just holding this freaking wood line. Taking a whole bunch of artillery fire. Slowly breaking British infantry. Oh crap. Treat some of this infantry even farther back into the woods. Get it as far away from the British artillery as we can. Another British unit. What we're probably going to end up having to do is just defeat all their infantry and then broke another one. And then just end the battle. Oh no, we lost an artillery. Yeah, we might just have to end this battle. All they pretty much have left is artillery. And we cannot go toe to toe with it right now. We will just get slaughtered. So, let's go ahead. We're actually just going to leave the battle. It should end up as a draw. Yeah. We were actually heavily outnumbered. A lot more British forces than I thought they had. We are probably going to have to fall back and head back to Fort Rice, though. We're not going to be able to hold the Hubberton area anymore. Looks like we could actually fight this battle for some reason. I don't think I'm going to fight that. That'd be silly. But yeah, we will probably have to start making our way back to Fort Rice. 
As much as I'd love to try and take those supplies. We need ammunition. We need to get men back. We lost an entire artillery company. This is overwhelming Fort Stevens. Oh no. That's what I was actually afraid of. The British did respond. With those forces, we lost Portsmouth. Probably won't even try and hold Fort Stevens. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get everybody out of Salem. Retreat them to Boston. These forces will just retreat south. Probably going to temporarily lose Boston. No, let's get out of there, cavalry. Ah, oh, jeez. Why do you keep charging? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, come on, Bandit. Get in there. What is going on? Why can't we play this assault? This doesn't make any sense. Thank you. God, that's weird. I hate when that the game does that. So we should outnumber them quite heavily over here. It is very unfortunate. Oh, man. It is very unfortunate we lost our cavalry, though. That's really dumb that they started right on our flank like that. Again, this is one of those situations where I really wish they would let us choose our battle positions instead of just giving it to us. Because my forces are just everywhere right now and this is annoying. Alright, let's swing up with these guys. Take 
at that whole regiment come across basically we're just trying to get these guys up into the battle right now swing up here with these ones hmm let's see who's moving God, this is annoying. Look at this. Most of the British Army is on this side of me. Let's take these guys. What we need to do is we're going to try and form a defensive area along this road we we'll have to use these guys to hold as long as we possibly can wow this is so stupid And like I said, we'll start forming defensive perimeter works. As I figure out this whole situation. off their guns at least let's get banded up to the front ah oh, man we already have an entire unit routing all right we're gonna get this front line back Okay, and then they're starting to set up, so there's no point. Holding these positions anymore. Oh, man. Maybe we just do that. I don't know. Well, we should probably leave two of the cannon over here somewhere. To hold a position against these forces. They 
gameplay it looks like we might have uh, we got more forces arriving get them up to the front these are our big 12 pound guns it looks like we have some supply stretchers we got more colonial infantry coming in so I think what we'll do is maybe fall on another fallback position and just keep falling back into our artillery maybe that's going to be the best idea wear the British out slowly so we'll form up these guns here this is so annoying I think what I'll do is I'll station some troops over here as sort of a reserve I don't know the one thing they need to fix about this game it's a very big need in my opinion is the ability to stage troops because this is ridiculous you shouldn't have to be running around with like a chicken with your head cut off at the beginning of every battle because you don't have the ability to station troops anywhere it's silly it's ridiculous and it's something that they definitely need to fix and this isn't just me being annoyed at the current moment it's just it honestly is it's just something they need to fix desperately you got more British coming in up here Let's have these guys fall back to this tree line back These aren't the same units. Can they not combine? Skirmisher unit, that's why. Duh. These are the two I wanted to combine. God, this is such a hodgepodge mess. Get oh jeez. What is going on down here? I'm actually gonna have these guys all hold fire. My big 12 pounders for now.
Don't fire on your own men. And they fired on their own men anyway. Oh, it's them. Jeez. Oh, are we... Really? Okay. I wasn't even paying attention to the bar at the top. Thought, why are you... Uh... Obviously the game is not ready for such large battles, I'm gonna say. Because there's a lot of little funky bits going on here. I think I'm gonna just move a whole bunch of people forward. We're really looking for the British guns. Might be able to get this small grenadier unit too. So actually, might be able to get that one as well. I don't know. We'll play, see what happens. Wow, this was a crazy bit of few minutes of play. sure we hold fire on our guns Looks like we were able to catch a few units. Not a whole lot though. But every little bit helps. And capture the artillery battery. Yeah, like these guys came in and just massed and couldn't even do anything, it looks like. Uh, they're all going to get away. That would have been big just to shoot them as they ran, ran by. If I had been paying at enough attention. This dude fighting this artillery unit. That's silly. Was able to get another shatter, and we are going to be able to get this artillery unit. Show sure, well, as many forces there are here, we should be able to break them. There we go. All right. Well, we won that. They lost about half their force. We outnumbered them greatly. Right, I'm not sure exactly what's all going to happen here, where he's going. I wish I hadn't lost my cavalry. These guys should be able to take Salem back pretty easily. Now take Boston back. Where is... We'll take Newell and Knox, have them go to Leicester. Belote will keep an eye on Cod.
Get out of there. Are you kidding me? Looks like we weren't able to get those supplies. We've got some money though. Yeah, this is crazy. That was a bit of craziness for the end of this episode. We do have to look, go and search for that. Let's let Belote rest. Looks like Cod is just trying to make it his way back. Let's just make sure we actually these troops have been resting for a little bit. Let's get them out and try and attack Cod. very least we're just gonna keep them retreating make sure they keep going north all right so we got them to drop some supplies looks like they are just gonna keep heading north Connecticut will take that all right let's take a look at what the British have everywhere we'll go out on some scouting runs with Banded in Arnold, and then we will probably call this one a wrap for today. Alright, so they have 580 men. They have 6,000 men in Portsmouth. I wonder if that means they've don't have as much in Fort Lovell or Fort Stevens anymore. 580 in Fort Stevens. Yeah, so most of their forces are now in Portsmouth, which means we could use Arnold to mop up the forces at Hubberton, Fort Lovell, and Fort Stevens. We might even send some of these guys all to Fort... St Maybe this group will fort send to Fort Stevens. These guys will gain up, game up, gang up on Portsmouth after the uh so yeah i think that's what i'll do i'm sorry i'm sorry a little all, all over the place but these forces in leicester will hit fort stevens fort rice will hit hubberton and then we will attack with both forces fort level which will probably just get them to move off then once that happens we'll launch a multi-pronged attack against Portsmouth which we definitely have the British outnumbered now we are gonna have to sell some stuff though because our finances it's becoming very expensive to maintain this army but thank you all for watching this was a bit of a crazy episode a lot of little minor skirmishes that crazy battle for Boston that was fun uh, not really that was really annoying actually but thank you all for watching uh, Stay tuned, and hopefully we can beat this British force in Portsmouth. And then probably after that, because I don't want to go too far forward, because I'm assuming the 1776 American campaign is going to drop here soon. More than likely, that's going to happen around July. Uh, in in game, that is, is when it would technically start. So I don't want to get too far ahead. In fact, we may end up putting a pause to the series altogether until that happens before we hit july because i don't want to get too far ahead because like i said that i'm assuming the next campaign is the new york campaign and that would involve 
Oh god, that big ship's down there again. And that would involve uh, the, them starting in July, uh, right before the Declaration of Independence is signed. Uh, so yeah, because I don't want to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just worried that it would mess up the, the saves if the campaign... Like, what would happen? So, I don't know. Maybe this will be the last episode for now. I kind of want to take care of this whole mess before that happens before the next campaign drops but we'll see i might put a pause on this at least until we hear when that campaign might be coming out but for now thank you all for watching and as always well bye